the shards of tattered dreams I rose, unwilling, tossed upon tides of pain that flowed and ebbed and left me searingly awake, and more revoltingly, alive. It was then I saw her for the first time. Good evening. We did not expect you to awaken so soon. Already you surprise us. My mind was in fragments like shattered glass. Where am I? I don't remember. Yes. It was said your memory would be affected by your long slumber. That will pass in time. I am Uma, and I am here to help you. Know that your name is Cain, and you were once a power in the land. I know my name, but my past, I remember fragments only. That you awoke at all is a miracle. When we found you, there was but the barest thread of life left in you. We nurtured it, fed it, and now you rise and walk again. And what is this place? You are in the city of Meridian, capital of the land of Nolzgoth, the land you once sought to conquer and rule. Tell me, since you remember your name, do you also remember your nature? Of course. Then let me show you the future. You have been asleep for 200 years. In that time, this is what has become of Nolzgoth. You were a great general, commanding an army of vampires, but the powers you opposed were too strong for you. You were struck down, your armies defeated, scattered, and destroyed. Everyone believed you to be dead. Who defeated me? The Seraphan, an army of fanatical humans sworn to eradicate all vampires from the world. A new leader brought them together, and wielding a new kind of magic, deadly to our kind, was able to destroy your army and kill most of the vampires. You were defeated in mortal combat by this leader, the Seraphan Lord. But that is not the end of the story. Under the guise of protecting the land from the vampire menace, the Seraphan seized control of all of Nazgoth, and their rule is not kind. For 200 years, the Seraphan have enslaved the humans under their iron rule, and hunted down and destroyed every vampire they could find. They have not succeeded, however. Not yet. And now, with your help, it is our hope to crush the Seraphan and restore order to the city. The natural order. Vampires preying upon humans. Naturally. You said our hope. Who are you? We are the Cabal, the Vampire Resistance. We work to undermine the Seraphan at every turn. But we are losing. With the new magic they employ, the Glyph magic, they are able to find us and kill us. Our numbers are dwindling. Without help, we will not survive. We need you, Cain. Of course you did not bring me back simply out of kindness. There must be a price. We need you to help the Resistance. Our faces are known. They kill us on sight. But you are ancient history, long since dead and buried. You can go where we cannot. That gives us a small advantage. How splendid for you. And why do you suppose I would do this? What is to be my reward? Your eternal gratitude. Have you changed so much? The Seraphan Lord defeated you. Don't you want to kill him? When you have destroyed him, you can continue your ascent to power, restore your army, and rule the land at last. Does the lust for vengeance and power no longer stir you? Are you so dead? I seem to remember that I played the pawn once before. It ended badly. This time, you will prevail. We are simply your allies not your betrayers. What we want from you is open and plain, with no hidden paths. If you succeed, so do we all. Are you asking me to trust you? We must trust one another. Together, 
we can defeat the Seraphan Lord. Once he is dead, his order will collapse, mindless fools that they are. But there are dangers other than the Seraphan which must be overcome. I care not for any dangers. They will fear me, do you hear? Tell me where to find the Seraphan Lord. I'll have him buried within the hour. Such arrogance. If it were so easy, we would have done it ourselves, Cain. And you are far too weak to fight him yet. He is protected, too, by other vampires. Vampires in service to the Seraphan? Are they mad? They value their lives. While they serve the Seraphan Lord, he lets them live. I will enjoy destroying them. You would be lucky to survive one such encounter until you grow stronger. But should you prevail, then you will be able to absorb their veins and thus gain new abilities. To our kind, these are called the Dark Gifts. I look forward to meeting these traitors to our kind. <clears throat> My senses spun. My body ached. Weakness overcame me. You have the thirst upon you. Come, vampire. It is time for you to feed. Yes. Cain, do not be afraid. What magic is this? I am using the Whisper, Cain. A natural ability of vampires. In this way, we can keep in contact even over great distances. Yes, I remember now. She had been in my thoughts. I almost believed I had called her myself. Never fear. I cannot read your thoughts, but only speak into your mind and hear you in return. Now, proceed down this street. I shall be waiting. All right, let's try this again. Welcome back, uh, everyone who may or may not be here, um, to uh, my failed attempt at a Blood Omen 2 stream from a couple of days ago when I was playing uh, Chex Quest. How is everyone? I'm all right. I love the tutorials and the PC versions of all of the Legacy of Kane games, except for Blood Omen, of course. Um, Soul Reaver, Defiance, Blood Omen 2, Soul Reaver 2, all for the PC versions anyway, all of them are press jump to jump, press press drink to drink. There's no actual like button configurations if you're using a PC or a controller. It's hilarious. Don't don't hate this game. I love this game. You may land silently 
Bloodman 2 is one of my favorites. It, I know it's the black sheep of the series, but it's one of my faves. Don't hate the bueno, don't hate the game, hate the player. <laughs> it's got a fucking great atmosphere. Like just look at this. The only other games with an atmosphere that's like this good is Thief. That's it. And maybe Bioshock and all those games, but like those are in a totally different league. Yeah, th thank you. I ripped it from your guys' site, so thank you, thank you guys for that. Man, I love Thief. Thief is great too. I'll probably end up streaming that also. I started streaming it on my YouTube, uh, but then um, I got stuck because, like, with Thief, that series is really weird. The um, the brightness and because it's so old, it doesn't work on like modern computers. So you have to go and toggle with the brightness and the gamma and everything <clears throat> because it just shows up too dark when you're capturing it. Yeah, technically not. But I mean, it would be good for, uh, I guess, I don't know, I'd say level design, but everything's going to be procedurally generated in Dead House. So, I don't know. Maybe, um... Character design wise, like the, the the knights, you got you could have a Benny character. All the better for a hunting ground. Tell me, Cain, are you hungry? Yes. I have a prisoner waiting for you down below. A thug from a local gang of criminals. He sought to murder yet another helpless victim. But he met me instead. Spare me the moral anecdote and direct me to his throat. Drink then. I will be waiting below. The effects are good. I like the sound effects for this, and that's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, cool! It worked. Cool. So I've been fuck. I've been messing around with OBS for the past couple of days, just trying to get it to function. Very true. I call this a vampire's law. The more creatures you drink from, the more law you will gain, and the greater your health will become. Leave no enemy alive, Cain. You will need their blood and their law to survive. Now, let us continue. I used to get SSI checks because uh, I'm blind. I'm like I'm visually impaired. I ordered a webcam the other day. I'm working on it. But yeah, no, I mean, Raven, go ahead and stream, dude. Or ma'am. I can't, <laughs> I think, I can't figure out, Raven, are you a guy or a girl? I think we've talked about this. That was a weird bug. What was that? Hold on, what was that? Oh. Ah, okay, Lord. My lady, my lord. But man, you should just go uh, go ahead and stream, dude. Like, I hate my voice. I don't like it at all. But here I am. When I'm editing videos for my YouTube, like, I'm used to my voice now, but I still, uh, it still makes me uncomfortable. No big deal. You could always uh um add like a voice modulator to it, you know, to to give you that deep Darth Vader voice 
or something. Man, I wish I had a voice like Distortion Devil. That guy, that guy could read a phone book and get paid for it. He sounds a lot like um Robin Atkin Downs sometimes when like I, I listened to his voice reel the other day. He's got a pretty good voice. I do like how they they incorporated lore, like the word literal, the literal word lore for like stories and everything like that gives you more health. Like that's pretty neat. It's pretty neat of a mechanic. I mean, it's weird that they decided to put, oh God, oh God, no. Yeah, Distortion Devil has uh, his voice reel on his YouTube um, and I think the link is in, like in his Twitch or whatever. I just went to his Twitch and found that out. Yeah, F. I won't put everyone through doing that thing over again. Yeah, that's really cool, man. Like the more people know about vampires and talk about, you know, monsters or whatever increases the lore, which is XP. That's soup. That's a really cool XP mechanic for games. I spoke before of our mortal enemies, the Seraphim. It is their sworn crusade to destroy all vampires. Speaking of the devil, Yeah, distortion, uh, devil. We were talking. We were just talking about you earlier and how your voice is like butter. Go read a dictionary and get paid, man. Your ability to survive will depend upon this is like the best part of the game. You get to beat the shit out of this girl. I mean, not that I'm against beating the shit out. Of, I mean, not that I'm for beating the crap out of girls, but like. Her character is one of the worst. Dodge around an opponent using your inhuman speed. You can also defend yourself by blocking attacks. I shall now strike at you. Do not be concerned. I shan't use my claws. Block my attacks and we can proceed to the next phase. <laughs> yeah, it sounded terrible. <laughs> All right, do I have a I have skilled on? Yeah. So another cool thing, yeah, didn't didn't sound good at all. Didn't sound good at all. Use them to kill your enemies. You can practice by attacking me. Don't hold it against me. Don't hold it against me. Oh, what am, oh yeah, I'm supposed to attack her now. Look at that. A cool thing about this game is you get two types of blocking, uh, two types of a blocking system. You can hold it down and just have it do it automatically for you, or uh, you have a skilled one where you have to like tap it like a rhythm game. Oh, they totally are. <laughs> five dollars, but it's only five dollars, guys. Come here. Excellent. Your lesson is over for the moment. Continue to <laughs> It's never too soon for Chris Brown. His, he still has a career, man. I love this game. My favorite part is in chapter three. Um, the lower city 
which I'll get there another day. This is just going to be chapter uh, the first the first level. Um, but uh, in the lower city, there's a part where you come a bunch of, across a bunch of crates, and I always bring this up when I'm talking about freaking favorite parts of video games. And um, you come across a bunch of parts, a bunch of crates in this game, and they're whispering your name, Kane, and it has this really creepy atmosphere going on. It's creepy and amazing and just like all of it is good. All of it is good. Here you are at last. Through this door lies your first true test. A gang of criminals. What is man eater? Ooh, oh wait, do you play as a shark? Once you have felled him, drink his blood to restore yourself from any wounds you may receive. Oh, that sounds awesome. I remember there was a game that came out. It was like a survival game or an asymmetrical game where you played as divers and then one person played as a giant shark. But I don't know I don't think it was man eater though. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Depth, yes. Yes, that. I remember when that came out. And then died shortly after. Oh, cool. So hopefully this will do better. Because I don't remember Depth doing very well. <laughs> Maneater, the sequel to Depth. Will this kill me? Oh god, that was a mistake. Uh. All right, favorite part. In addition to our physical superiority, vampires also possess dark gifts. Oh, that sounds awesome. I got to look that up. So what's everyone doing today? And become nearly invisible. You can move silently to bring down your prey from behind. At times when you are outnumbered, look for mist from which to kill your enemies silently. Yeah, I definitely have to look up man eater. That sounds really cool. Hiding mist to escape. Now, use this gift to kill those before you in the cemetery. I will let you continue when the deed is done. Oh, I th uh, I just picked up Sleeping Dogs um, a couple of months ago on the sale for like two dollars. Ah! Ian just giving out giving out lists. Must be a hard job. <laughs> How are you eating rabbit food? Or do you mean like like salads and stuff? Man, I love Event Horizon. That that movie is so good. It falls it falls apart of the third act, but it's a really good movie. Ah, uh, veggies. Veggies are good, man. Can never go wrong with veggies. A non-horror game that scared me as a kid. Um, there was this math game I had to play to learn math when I was a kid. Um, it took place in a cemetery. Some of you guys may have played this also. It was one of those learning games. Yeah, it's super good.
But um, there was this one math game that I was learning, I had to learn as a kid. And you played as just just a human, but you had to go through a cemetery and you encountered uh, vampires and you encountered like monsters and everything. And it creeped me out, even though it was just like a learning game. And um, it was like you had to go through a maze and fight Medusas and everything. It was 3D, early 3D. Like Echo the Dolphin, Raven? Activate the glyph box. This will bring power to the gate's lever and allow you to open it. Alright, let's try this blocking thing again. There we go. For what? I'd steal my mom's credit cards too if we both made enough money. But only ethically. No, I didn't know that existed. The only glitches I know... Well, hold on, your mom... Wait, wait, what? This is your mom? I don't know, maybe. Ian, how old are you? I feel, I feel Ian, Ian is like 22. <laughs> I could be super off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And there's mist or something, right? Holy crap, I was right? Seriously? Yeah, legit. Jalen looks 12. If Jalen shaved his little goatee, he would look 12 years old. No, don't kill my human. That's my human. No, uh, I don't know. I, I gotta find it because it was this that math game. Now it's got me thinking about it. Um, I was around. Jesus Christ, how old was I? It was like early, early math, like um, third grade, fourth grade kind of stuff. And I was being babysat, not babysat. I was like at an aftercare, daycare thing by. Um, one of my mom's friends, she was like a hippie, and we made water balloons and all, oh man, memories. But no, cut through. I know this one glitch um, in the Nobles area um, where that does happen, but I think it's it's by, you're in a mist form, right? You're in mist, and you, and you have to like kill this person. Jesus, man. Ian's, hold on, Ian's 22. He's an associate producer already. Dude, you're going up. He's going up in the world. Wow, wait, hold on. Science, science a baby too. Holy cow. God, I'm feeling old here. I'd ask, I don't want to ask Zupa's age because that's like inappropriate.
Hey, that might be the same one. I know a lot of uh, I know a lot of the games, educational games, like carried over from when I was a kid to, like later on. Oh man, everyone's such a baby. What the hell? He spouts off something about like glyph energy, but I don't care. Um, okay, so uh, what's the other one? Reader Rabbit. Anybody? Did you guys play Reader Rabbit as a kid? Was that a game you guys played? Um, Freddy Fish. Uh, Jesus, what is it? Captain. Freddy Fish. Reader Rabbit. Um, man, Putt Putt. Math Blaster, Pajama Sam. Thanks, Raven. <laughs> yeah, Reader Rabbit was the bomb. I love that game. I'd go back and play that, like, today just to play it. What was the other one? Um, there was this other game series where you played as, like, amateur, like, little ki kids in, like, fourth grade or whatever, and it was an educational game, and they were, like, Indiana Jones types. There was an Egypt one and a jungle one. And they had a talking, a talking notebook or a laptop or something. All right, let's fight. Clue finders, hell yeah! Nah, man, my first console was Nintendo. Well, before that, it was arcades, but th then Nintendo. This is so cool. I'm so happy that, like, my chatbot is working. Because getting Streamlabs to, like, set up with all my notifications and stuff was a pain in the butt. Quick, someone unfollow me and then follow me. I want to see if it works. Oh, hell yeah, spot. Yeah, uh, Night Dive remastered all those, I think. Ah, yes. Alright, that's cool. It works, but unfortunately, no image or whatever showed up. Damn. It might be because my, my alert thing is. Uh, thanks for the follows, oops. Oh, you guys did? Cool. Oh, there it is. It was time indeed to hear this so-called leader's plans and learn what he thought his plans might be for me. Kane, this way. Cool, everything's working. Changed beyond all recognition in a land that was under a curse. Should I follow her as she asked, or go my own way, find my own answers? But answers were promised me in sanctuary. After that, I would know what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, because freaking, like, I don't know, I got into an, like a debate about Night Dive Studios the other day. So if anyone in this stream hasn't known yet or doesn't know, Night Dive Studios is doing, um, is having a vote and request poll on their Discord. Oh, is it? Damn, yeah, I can boost it up. Um, yeah, I can boost it. Bing, bing. Um, alrighty, so hopefully that's better. Um, uh, so yeah, Night Dive Studios is 
having a, a poll, a vote and request thing over on their Discord. And Blood Omen and the rest of the Legacy of Kane series is in that list. So far, it's got the highest number of votes. Um, now, how this works is I think this is just for to see if all the interest is there. Um, where am I going? To see, to see if the interest is there for fans of the series for them to try to negotiate um, holding rights for a limited time with Square Enix to remaster um, or remake the games. Probably just remasters. Like, get the get the PC versions working or, like, port the Dreamcast version or whatever. So you just go over to the Night Dive Studios Discord, uh, join it, click um, 10 minutes, and wait. All right, is that is that volume loud enough, guys? Is it good? Is it too loud now? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get to the next story section. And there's with the weapon durability. This is the game that made me hate weapon durability. And and Witcher 3 makes me hate weapon durability so much. Blood Omen 2, I, it's okay. It Like I said, uh, it encourages weapon switching. But um, the Witcher weapon durability sucks. Like I shouldn't be in the middle of a fight and and have like a carry weight limit to where I have like 20 silver swords in my inventory and then one like breaks and then I can't continue the fight or it's super weak and I have to waste money. Like I get the mechanics are there, but I just, it's just annoying. What the hell? Oh, down there. Oh crap. Oh yeah, well I mean you can cheat. I could cheat and get the Soul Reaver, you know, go cheese. Oh man, I should try to I should try to rip the uh rip the Blood Omen 2 sound file so I can get go cheese as a as any as an emote. All right, we're almost at the home stretch of this chapter. Just a couple more glyph puzzles, and then, uh, and then, yeah, we're good. Thanks everybody for joining me so far. Oh yeah, I cheat all the time with this game, um, and uh, I know the PC version has has a dark gift and soul reaver cheat hook that you can plug in and go to any level you want with all the dark gifts and blah 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 ooh game shark man i, rem I remember game shark you guys remember freaking cheat codes in general like what game was i playing not not these there's other games that like uh have freaking cheat codes and they're amazing um i miss cheat codes so much oh yeah blood omen one duh that has great cheat codes yes you can farm lore but i know that there's a glitch with blood omen 2 where it's possible to get max health to get 100 percent health but the moment you do it'll go all the way back up to zero and then you'll be stuck in like a permanent death state oh shit Come on. I use GTA cheat I a little a lot. GTA cheat codes a lot. I used to use those for three a lot. Like summoning a tank <laughs> out of the sky. Did I pull the lever already? I did, right?
My friend plays Tropico a lot, but that's like I've never cheated on that game. I know it's like a, a Sims like or something, isn't it? Tropico? I hear they're good though. They look really interesting. Sweet. Home stretch, baby. Yeah, like that. One of those games. She always makes fun of me because I like muskets and flintlocks and stuff. And, uh, and Tropical, I think there's an era, like, because it goes through time, I guess. It jumps through time. And you can use flintlocks and muskets. All right, dialogue's coming up. Let's see if the volume is good. Oh yeah, first I gotta, I gotta close the gate. I'm not sure if you can be pirates or not. Smuggler's Den. There are stones throw from the entrance. Go through. It will lead you to the Smuggler's Den. Careful, though. There's rogues down there that'll attack you on sight. Then they will die. Wait. Tell Uma that I helped you, please. She promised me the dark gift if I did as she asked. You'll tell her, won't you? I'm certain Uma will give you all that you deserve. Man, what a boss. Kane is such a badass. Yeah, something like that. I'm trying to get more follow sounds. Epic music. All right, chapter two, baby. I'll just rest. I'll just save over my old game. All right. Well, that's that's gonna be it for today. Um, I have to go make a text adventure and and work on a documentary. I've been I've been putting off for a bit. Um, or, or more work more on that documentary. But yeah. So thanks everybody for joining me. Super awesome that it worked. Um, finally, if I can only figure out how to end this stream properly without messing up. I will uh, be streaming Chapter 2 some other time. And uh, yes, so see you all again next time. Thanks for joining, and that will be that. Did that work? No, probably not. <laughs>